Hey everybody out there, you need to start staying prepared and this is foods with the longest shelf life to help everybody out and maybe to answer a few questions that everybody should have. All right, some foods have, you know, naturally long shelf lives, right? I mean, if stored properly, will keep for, you know, many months, years, depends on how you store it. Other foods spoil very quickly usually due to high oil or moisture content and will last a long time only if they are dried, canned, or otherwise preserved. There are numerous foods that spoil faster than others. I mean, everybody knows that, right? There is a great interest in long-lived foods among so-called preppers and survivalists who anticipate having to live off the grid, basically, when widespread chaos strikes. All right, they're prepared, they're ready. They're all getting ready to go. You all seen the shows and stuff on TV, uh, the doomsday preppers and all those type of people, you know, they prep for long-term food storage. This way here, they always have food in case of the chaos that could be coming. And in the world we live in right now, that is coming very, very soon. There is so much stuff that is going on. I mean, on a daily basis, it just tr keeps tr trickling down. And it is just a absolute chaotic mess in this country at this point in time. We have the baby formula, what's taking place. Women can't buy baby formula for their babies. They just can't get it. But there's truckloads of it sitting at the border at the in the south. That they're given to these illegal immigrants. And they're saying that they have to, quote, do this per the Washington Post. They have to supply these people with all these necessities. Because they came across the border illegally. And now they're in our own country. And what I have to say to Washington, D.C. and what I have to say to the Washington Post, go screw yourself because that is totally wrong. I'm sorry. Americans, we have gone from being the first to be issuing aid and helping this, uh, the world out and doing all these type of things. And the American people have always had open arms and hands and their homes and everything else to help people out in a time of crisis and now the american people are last in our government's eyes we are no longer number one priority it's the world is not us there's a problem here so let's get to these foods folks we're going to start off number one potatoes you know, they got a shelf life between two and five weeks, depending on how you store them. If you store them in a cool, dry, dark place like Yukon Gold's, uh, Red's, Fingling uh, potatoes, they'll last from two to three weeks, no problems. Larger white or russet potatoes, if you store them in a cool, dry, dark place, uh, they can last three to five weeks, depending on how you store them. Everything is dependent on how you store it. Sweet potatoes also fall under that category. And this way here, you know, you can get a little bit longer out of your potatoes. You don't want to store your potatoes with onions or anywhere near onions because they will push off these gases and everything else. And it's going to cause them to spoil faster. Both products, potatoes and onions. Number two is onions. All right, onions have a shelf life of about one to two months. Uh, as with potatoes, if you store them in a cool, dry, dark place, you'll get one to two months out of them. And once again, you just do not store those with potatoes because they both will spoil a lot faster. So you wanna keep them totally separated. I try to keep them in separate rooms, but that's just my opinion. You all can do what you want. Peanuts, unshelled peanuts will last between one to two months. Uh, peanuts, in their shell, uh, especially when kept in a cool, dry place. Uh, they're perfectly happy in the pantry for as long as, you know, a couple of months. And you'll always have fresh peanuts right there. 
And uh, last time I was in a store, you still could get a big bag of those at Publix. And they really weren't that inexpensive. So they're a great snack. I mean, they, they have plenty of protein and everything else in them. So, you know, it's something to think about in your prepping. Winter squash, okay? Now, we all love all different types of, you know, squash. Uh, there's various kinds of the, the thick skin winter squashes, which include like your butternut, your spaghetti, acorn, hubbard, um, all basically among the most durable of the fresh vegetables that you can buy. They're going to last the longest just sitting there and everything else because they have a very, very hard shell around them. So you get one to three months out of those and it makes it a great, great product to, to either grow or to keep in the house. Apples. Now, apples are a little bit sensitive, but if you do it properly, you can get a pretty good shelf life out of them. Fresh apples will last about five to seven days, you know, basically on the counter in a fruit bowl. All right. But if you can turn around, if you can store those in a um, humid place at a temperature between like 30 to 40 degrees, all right, they'll actually stay pretty crisp up to about six months, folks. So remember that. Tea is number six. The shelf life of tea is between 6 and 12 months past the best buy date. All right. Now, dry tea leaves, whether loose or in a sealed like container or in tea bags like we buy in the store in the boxes, can easily last a year or more after the best buy date, if not subject to moisture or humidity. Uh, the tea does tend to lose a little bit of flavor over time, but it is still safe to drink and you still can make iced tea, regular tea whatever you like. All right. Powdered milk is number seven. Now powdered milk, you have a shelf life between one and one and a half years in general, depending on how you store it. All right. The color, the texture, the flavor of the powdered milk might change as it ages, but it will still be perfectly usable and safe for up to at least two years. Now, if you do store those in Marlar bags and you can store them that way with uh, oxygen absorbers, I think you're going to get a lot longer out of your product. Uh, beef jerky has a shelf life of between one and two years. Uh, just stored in a regular storage bag. So if you had your beef jerky, I would suggest, you, you know, if you want to get your maximum lifespan out of it, I would store it in a Marlar bag with an oxygen absorber and a moisture absorber. And this way here is going to keep the meat dry and everything else. And you're going to get your, your maximum amount of time out of your beef jerky. Canned fruits and vegetables. Now, a lot of people have a lot of questions and stuff on canned fruits and vegetables. All right. Now, the shelf life on your canned fruits and vegetables are anywhere between five and seven years uh, past the best buy date. But that also is based on how you store your products. All right. Your... Um, Generally speaking, if canned foods are subject to intense heat, like that's why I say do not store them in your garage or anything like that, because it's just going to make them go bad three times faster than if you could store them in a spare room, a closet, in your pantry, wherever else in your home where it's more of a controlled environment. All right. Now, the one thing that you always want to make sure that you are doing is checking your cans periodically because you want to make sure that there's no rust, no dents. And if the can is starting to bulge, throw it in the trash. Because basically at that point, bacteria has started to grow when it is bulging. Number 10, dried pasta. Dried pasta um, in its regular box with the way you buy it at the store and everything else is going to last you anywhere between two to, to four years. Um, 
just like it is and i would highly suggest that you put it into some type of a container mylar bag would be the best with an oxygen absorber and this way here you can store your pasta for a very very long time just remember one thing folks if it is fresh pasta and you make it with eggs and everything else um you're going to want to make sure that stays refrigerated that's not something you're going to make and store for long-term food storage bullion cubes they have a shelf life between two and five years depending on how you store the products okay oxygen and moisture are basically the enemies of these little bullion cubes that we just love so much and to make you know instant soup or stock or anything like that if you keep them dry and well sealed you're going to get your maximum lifespan out of them peanut butter just a regular jar of peanut butter um past the best by date you're going to get another couple of years out of it it also depends on if it's unopened or not and it is also going to uh, depend on if you're storing it at room temperature um, you don't want to have any heat involved with peanut butter because it'll start to break down the oils and everything and then the next thing you know is um, you know the oil separated the peanut butter all dries out and it's probably going to lose its flavor a lot faster and it also may fade in color just depending on what type of peanut butter it is you bought dark chocolate everybody loves chocolate right i mean come on we all like chocolate dark chocolate has a shelf life of up to about five years past its best buy date um you want to make sure that you are trying to store this uh your chocolate of all kinds especially the dark chocolate it likes a temperature between 60 and 65 degrees fahrenheit all right it also does not like to be uh warm and cold warm and cold so it wants to be a controlled environment um it can develop like white spots but these are usually basically really harmless folks and it don't really affect the flavor of anything all right so if you see a couple of little white spots or something like that don't worry about it it's perfectly fine and it shouldn't affect the flavor of the dark chocolate canned or vacuumed tuna all right now this is another big one that everybody has asked questions about so your can or vacuum pack tuna uh, has a shelf life past the best by date of five to eight years it just depends on once again on how you do store your products and everything else um, for your optimum flavor and texture don't keep it longer than um I would say between five and eight years you're going to really want to watch that and see how it you know takes place you want to just keep monitoring your cans and those type of things for the rust any dents and any bulging dried beans dried beans of any kind have a shelf life of indefinitely all right dried beans are pretty much indestructible folks um, if they're kept dry so they begin to lose their moisture after a year or two as they age they require a longer pre-soaking and longer cook times so if you've got beans that are 10 15 20 years old it's going to take longer for them to soak and it's going to take longer for them to cook but they're going to be good no matter what you do all right so i would highly suggest storing your beans you can vacuum pack them you can Put them in mason jars and vacuum seal them in there or you can put them in marlar bags for the ultimate and put an oxygen absorber in there and you shouldn't have any issues or anything like that number 16 is honey and we all know that honey is also another one of these indefinite products that will last forever so they have found honey in the great pyramids and everything else so basically as long as it is still good if it does start to crystallize or something like that you can usually heat it up with uh in the jar it's in or whatever in uh, warm water and it will start to break that down and turn it back into honey again so having honey would be a great uh addition to your uh preps because you can use honey for a lot of different 
things as far as flavors and sugars and you can substitute the honey for sugar and I mean there's just a lot of stuff that you can do with it plus honey has a lot of great benefits for your body and everything else and 17 liquor now there may be a lot of people out there maybe you don't drink but maybe you do but liquor not beer liquor will last indefinitely if it's not opened all right now you want to make sure that they're high alcohol content uh, liquors that you are looking to store for long term uh, the higher the alcohol content the longer it will last with no problems you also want to try to keep it from um, exposure to extreme heat and extreme cold uh, it doesn't like either one of those so somewhere in the middle is going to be your best bet on your liquor the last one number 18 is of course rice rice will last indefinitely period brown rice might be healthier for you i mean i get a lot of people ask about brown rice and jasmine rice and all these but the brown rice it has a high oil content so it will go bad over a few months with in no time all right if you keep it dry your white rice will last forever that's why i highly suggest if you're storing your rice if you're going to vacuum seal it or my preferred method of storing rice is mylar bags for the ultimate long-term food storage that you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about any light you don't have to worry about anything i understand it is a more expensive way of doing your preps and everything else but in the long run it will save you now in the chaos time that we live in right now folks you all need to be doing whatever you can there is so much stuff that is taking place right now you need to make sure that you are prepping to the max you're either you're topping off or you're trying to put away whatever you can the stuff is costing you so much more money at this point in time in the game that it is just it's getting out of reach for a lot of people because they can't even afford to put food on the table on a daily basis for their families in this type of situation and we're avoiding the whole not having enough food to put it on the table for your family the last things that anybody wants to hear out there especially if you have kids and you're listening to this is the last thing you want to hear is i'm hungry and you have nothing to give them so don't put yourself in that situation make sure that you're staying prepped you're staying ready you're trying to do all that you can do to ride out this storm because I tell you what, folks, it is getting bad and it's getting worse by the day. So we have to do something to be prepared. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'd like to thank you for joining me on this video today. You all stay prepped. You stay safe. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.